Namaste guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to calculate stress strain when a torque load is applied. Before I start this video, make sure that you subscribe our new channel Mechanical Coder and Engineer Know for better understanding of engineering concepts. Ok, so let's get started. So first of all, select the front plane, click on sketch. After that, first thing we are going to do is, we are going to make a shaft. So select a circle. Draw a circle, ok. Now give it a diameter as per your shaft requirement. Let's say 90 mm or 90 mm is too big. Uh, let's say 40 mm. Now go to features, click on extrude boss base. Click on middle plane. Now increase it as per your length requirement, ok. Click ok. Now after that go to simulations click on new study click on static click ok now so apply the material as per your requirement so i am applying plain carbon steel but you can choose any other material as per your requirement next thing is fixtures uh, here you see a options called connections connection is basically used when you have more than uh, one or two part or you have parts uh, or features that are not uh, merge e merge with each other okay so here is the fi fixtures fixture basically mean uh, what you want to fix or move so right click on fixtures click on fix geometry select this face so basically what i'm telling that select this face and this face is fixed this face is not going to move this is what it means by fixed geometry click ok after that right click on it click on sorry now right click on external loads as i told you i am interested in torque so select the torque select this face okay now it is asking for a axis or cylindrical face you can select this face again but here you will see that it is selecting the whole shaft but i just want to put a load at this particular for example say a small strip of area so how can i do that so to do this trick go to first model select the front uh, select the top plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for now i to the view draw a simple line now exit the sketch go to features click on curves click on split line select this click ok so you see i got a face selected click on static click here click on torque select this as you can see i am not selecting the whole i am just selecting a particular face so this is what i want basically for example if you are making or your car or uh, shaft ok so there is basically a particular face that basically facing all the torque ok and this is just a rigid body so apply the torque as per your requirement let's say 500 uh, newton meter ok and you can reverse the direction if you want click ok after that either you can right click on mesh and create the mesh as per your requirement but in my case this mesh is uh, for example if i click ok as you can see this mesh is quite fine so this will work for me ok now click on run the study after simulation you will see this kind of result a first question arises in your mind what the hell is this and why it is too big so basically what happened when you do stress change simulation solvex show the results uh, 500 times or sometimes 200 times higher than the original for example if i right click on it and go to chart options uh, go to definition uh, you see this is automatic this is 209.507 times the original if i click on true scale and click ok so this is the original and if i right click on displacement click on show again right click on it click on uh, chart definition definition true scale click ok so here you can see so this is the maximum uh, strain 
सपोज समवन आस्क हेम एंड वेर इज द मैक्सिमम यू नो स्ट्रेस और मिनिमम स्ट्रेस सो चेक आउट दिस ऑप्शन हेयर आई एम करेंटली इन स्ट्रेन टैप सो आई विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेन एंड मिनिमम स्ट्रेन सॉरी फर्स्ट राइट क्लिक ऑन इट शो राइट क्लिक ऑन इट क्लिक ऑन चार्ट ऑप्शन सो हे यू कैन सी सो हे आर द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इज है एंड हे आर इज द मिनिमम स्ट्रेस यू कैन सी जस्ट बाय द पॉइंट ओके सो दिस इज द वर्ड आई लाइक अवर सोल वर्क दैट इज बेसिकली टेलिंग द पॉइंट एग्जैक्टली वेयर इज द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस एंड वेयर इज द मिनिमम स्ट्रेस ओके I hope you learned something from this video. If you want to plot the graph from this video, uh, from this sorry, simul simulation, you can check out my other links, other videos. Link in descriptions. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Make sure that you subscribe our other channels for better understanding of engineering concepts. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.